Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the UK's changing employment structure. This is part of Paper 2, Unit B, The Changing Economic World. Let's start off by talking about employment structure. The employment structure of a country is how the workers are divided into different types of economic activity, i.e. the percentage of workers in each category. There are four sectors and these change in importance depending on the level of development in a country. The primary sector involves extracting raw materials such as farming, fishing, forestry, mining and quarrying. The secondary sector involves making, building or processing raw materials into finished products, usually in factories. This is also known as the manufacturing sector. The tertiary sector is all about providing a service, for example teachers, doctors, cleaning staff, drivers, professional sports players, all sorts. This is also known as the service sector. And finally, the quaternary sector is high-tech research to develop new things. It's highly skilled and usually involves a high level of qualification. And this is more commonly known as the research and development sector. Over the last few hundreds of years, the UK's employment structure has shifted significantly, as you can see in this graph. You can also see these changes summarised in this graphic on the screen. Up until 1800, most UK workers were employed in agriculture and mining. These are primary industries because they involve extracting raw materials, in this case growing crops and raising livestock, and mining coal and iron ore. But between 1750 and 1900, the Industrial Revolution happened in the UK, and everything changed. Manufacturing industries grew rapidly, meaning that thousands of people flocked to towns and cities to work in factories, making steel, building ships or working in cotton mills. Thousands of people also worked in dockyards, which were importing goods from the colonies. This was a growth of the secondary sector, and these jobs were considered to be better paid and more reliable than farming. However, the conditions in Victorian factories were very harsh. There were no health and safety laws about running factories as they hadn't been needed before. Therefore, workers often operated dangerous machinery which could and frequently did cause serious injuries. Pay was usually quite poor and the hours were very long. Often workers were forced to work through the night. Towards the end of the 20th century, we saw another big shift. Deindustrialisation occurred and manufacturing saw a huge decline. Jobs in factories and mills were replaced by service jobs in the tertiary sector. This is a really varied sector and is what most people in the UK work in. It includes office work, retail, healthcare, education, finance, hospitality and entertainment. So it includes all sorts of jobs. More recently, we've seen the emergence of the quaternary sector. These are high-tech and highly specialised jobs focused around research and development. This is often referred to as a knowledge sector. This is a really quick-growing sector and includes biotechnology, software developments and the advancement of artificial intelligence and pharmaceuticals, like you can see on the screen. This sector played a huge role in the COVID pandemic of 2020 to 2021, including the development of vaccines, the track and trace system, and software that enabled us to work from home more effectively. The UK is now classed as a post-industrial economy. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the UK's changing employment structure. Thank you for watching.